How is blood pressure diagnosed? Measuring the blood pressure using a machine that incorporates a cuff around the arm, called a sphygmomanometer, together with a stethoscope, helps the doctor make a diagnosis of hypertension. The cuff is pumped up until the pulse below the cuff disappears. The pressure in the cuff is then slowly lowered until the pulse reappears. This can be heard with a stethoscope, and is called the systolic pressure. The cuff is gradually deflated until the doctor or nurse can no longer hear any sounds. This is called the diastolic pressure. Blood pressure is normally expressed as the systolic value written over the diastolic value. For example, 130 over 70 millimeters of mercury. A person's blood pressure alters from minute to minute, and usually increases as we get older. But it is generally agreed that abnormal blood pressure is less than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. As a person's blood pressure varies continuously, a single blood pressure reading represents only a snapshot. And not the whole picture. Many patients find that their blood pressure only goes up as a result of anxiously waiting to see the doctor or nurse, the so-called white coat hypertension. Prior to making a final diagnosis of hypertension, your doctor will arrange to take your blood pressure on several occasions. This allows the doctor to gain a more representative picture of the blood pressure levels. An alternative is to perform 24-hour ambulatory monitoring. During this, the blood pressure is checked at frequent intervals over a 24-hour period, away from the surgery or hospital. If you have hypertension, your doctor will want to check for evidence of harmful effects on the eyes, the kidneys, and the heart. If other causes are thought to have contributed to the development of raised blood pressure, then more detailed tests could be required. Blood tests to look for electrolyte abnormalities, chemicals that conduct electricity in the blood, thyroid disease, or evidence of kidney damage. An electrocardiogram (ECG) to look for any evidence of enlargement of the heart muscle. A chest X-ray to see if the heart is enlarged or if there is congestion on the lungs. An ultrasound scan of the heart, called an echocardiogram. This is a painless test that provides important information about the way the heart is working. It provides pictures of the heart in motion, and allows the doctor to assess the pumping action of the heart.